New research shows women are rethinking their careers more than at any point before. According to data from LinkedIn, job transitions for women have jumped a record 54 percent compared to this time last year. Career changes for men have increased by about 46 percent. CBS News Money Watch reporter Amy Peakey writes about what's being called the Great Resignation in a recent article for CBSNews.com, and she joins me now to talk more about this. Amy, good to see you. So why are so many women considering career transitions, and why are they doing it at a higher rate than men? Yeah, I mean, this is coming after a year and a half of the pandemic. And what data is showing is that women are burned out. Um, LinkedIn, or the LinkedIn survey found that four in 10 women are experiencing burnout. They're also frustrated with their earnings. Um, one third said that they don't earn enough to pay for their family's expenses. Um, so that could be also because of inflation. You know, their families are experiencing higher inflation and they want to earn more money. But then, you know, if you look back at the pandemic, what we saw was women really took a hit. The jobs that really got cut were industries where women predominate, service jobs, um, home health care aides, restaurants, retail. And, you know, after that shock, um, women are reassessing what they want. They're thinking, OK, maybe I don't want to work in retail anymore. I want a different type of job. And I just want to point out a transition can mean anything from getting a new career to quitting a job to starting a new business. So it's interesting because I think we're seeing a mix of that with what women are doing. Um, it's across the board, but it kind of shows that after a year and a half, women are ready for something new, a lot of them, and they're thinking about what's the next step ahead. So what are the biggest challenges that women are telling you that they're facing as they're making these transitions or in some cases getting back into the workplace? Absolutely. So I spoke with several women for this article, and, you know, there are a couple common themes that I heard. Um, one is child care. I mean, the pandemic is still ongo on ongoing, and, you know, younger children still can't get the vaccine yet, although that looks like it'll happen soon. Um, but, you know, they're juggling a lot of different demands, especially women with children. Um, and so, like one woman I spoke with said she has a young child, and she looked at daycare costs. She was quoted $1,200 for a monthly charge for her for the daycare. And she's a home health aide. And she said, I really can't afford that on my salary. Um, you know, so it's interesting because she's looking at that. She really wants to go back to work. And her response to that is she's going to start her own business. She's going to start a house cleaning business in early 2022 that will give her and her fiance the flexibility to provide daycare themselves for their child, but also, you know, start a new business and be, um, be employed and make money. So I think it's interesting because you are also seeing a lot more women become uh, business owners. They're starting their own businesses like this woman I spoke to. So, you know, there are some challenges, but I think out of those challenges are also coming some positives. Well, a growing number of companies, speaking of the positives, are also looking to employ more women. Tell us more, Amy. Yeah, so LinkedIn found that hiring of women is going up, which is good because it actually went down quite a bit in the pandemic for the reasons I mentioned earlier with these industries being really hit, uh, industries that employ women were really hit hard in the pandemic. Um, and I think, you know, women also during the pandemic were afraid to make changes. You know, they didn't want to give up a job that they, they had because there was so much uncertainty. So right now, em employers are saying, all right, this is a great work section of the workforce that we can tap and we can reach out to. Um, I also want to point out that before the pandemic, women had actually inched into the majority of all workers. There were actually more women workers than men who were in the workforce. And so when all those millions of women left the workforce, that was a huge hit to employers. And employers now really need workers. I think we've all heard about the, the worker shortages. Mm -hmm. So employers are smart and they're saying, okay, we need to recruit women. We need to reach out to them. Uh, like United Airlines, um, I spoke to one of their executives and their um, aviation which is a uh, flight school, is trying to get half of their uh, recruits to be women or people of color. And they actually are having an incredible success. They found that 75% of their applicants were women or people of color. So this is paying off for employers who are reaching out to, to these workers. Um, so, you know, it'll be interesting to watch what happens over the next few months. Yeah, good to create those pipelines to success and then continue it going. Amy, thank you. Thank you, Lana.